So greetings in Jesus' name. You are very welcome to the Africa Watch, which is part of the Global Watch. Uh, and uh, brings together watchmen from the nation. So good morning, good evening, good, uh, good afternoon, depending on where you are. This is the 8th of June. Uh, the break of dawn, Jerusalem time. And we will begin with an opening prayer led by Joe. Joe, over to you. Thank you. Lord, we just say thank you. Thank you for this wonderful experience of being able to join together with people from all over the world and to actually lift up your name, Lord. And we just say thank you that even when it's such an early morning, when it's so dark, we're so cold, there's just an irresistible urge to be on the call, <laughs> especially when it's the Africa Watch and, uh, and we get such good teaching from, from this watch. So Lord, I just say thank you for your love and your uh, grace and your mercy and your peace, Lord. And I just pray that even as we have experienced the, um, the Pentecost, the Sharat um, weekend, Lord, that we are refocused on to the fruit and the gifts of the Holy Spirit, Lord. And we cannot do anything without the Holy Spirit because, Lord, you sent your Holy Spirit so that we would never be alone and we would be connected with you. Through, through the Holy Spirit. So Lord, I just pray for this meeting now, Lord, that you will just guide the speakers and any all the prayers, Lord, to give glory to you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Joe. We are going to worship the Lord in a song. Uh, a song and talking about Pentecost, uh, just yesterday was Jerusalem Day uh, on the Gregorian calendar. So we're going to worship the Lord in a song entitled Above All, a song that is in three different languages and sounds a lot like Pentecost, where different languages and tongues were hard praising the Lord. So let's worship together. Amen. Our God is above all. Crucified, laid down his life and rose again, and now sits at the right hand of the Father until all his enemies are made a footstool we give you praise, Lord Jesus. Mm. And then as we get to the time of hearing your word, Lord, we ask the Holy Spirit to open the scriptures to us, to that we may receive knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We pray for your servant sharing the word with us, Lord, that you anoint her to speak your heart to us. Thank you, Lord, and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And we are this time uh, today privileged to have our join, uh, have joining us all the way from Kenya, our sister, Reverend Elizabeth Otuji. She's a retired Anglican clergy the founder and leader of a prayer ministry called Vanguard Kenya. And it's a prayer ministry. She's also the coordinator of TJC2, which stands for Towards Jerusalem Council, an initiative of repentance and reconciliation between the Jewish and Gentile segments of the body of Messiah. And on this call, uh, Reverend Elizabeth, we have a, 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 a fellowship of one new man, 
and we know that uh, your word is timely not only for the continent but um, for the globe so you're very welcome evangelism Thank you, uh, Brother Edward. And if I thank God for the opening of this time to be able to share with you this morning uh, about uh, this call and about the reconciliation, the initiative of reconciliation. And this morning, I want to begin by looking at uh, Acts chapter 15, and I'm not going to talk about the, to read the whole of it. The story in Acts chapter 15 begins when Paul and Cyrus began and Barnabas began to go to preach the word of God in Antioch. And as they shared the word with the, the, the Gentiles, who began to accept Yeshua as their Messiah. The Jewish segment of those who were into tradition followed them. And they began to tell people that they cannot be followers of Yeshua unless they are proselytes. That meaning that they should be able to be circumcised and to follow the laws of Moses. And Paul was not happy about it. So he went back to Jerusalem to Peter and to James, the brother of Jesus, who was the overseer of Jerusalem church, so that he could seek their counsel on this issue. And after a council was called, this is the first council that is reported in the Bible, they came together, the apostles and all those who were at Jerusalem and they spoke and at the end Peter stood and uh, recited how God called him and sent him to Cornelius house and how even before they prayed for, for repentance, the Holy Spirit fell upon them. And then James spoke last. And when James spoke in Acts chapter 24, 15:28 he says, "For it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us, meaning that they agreed with the Holy Spirit, to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things, that you abstain from things offered to idols, from blood, from things strangled, and from sexual immorality. If you keep yourself from this, you will dwell farewell. And uh, the, the believers who were messianic, they accepted the Gentiles to be the followers of Yeshua. And we know that from that point, the, the, the gospel spread to many churches. We know the seven churches that uh, even John was to write letter to were in, um, in, in Turkey. And the gospel has gone around to us. But along the church, um, uh, the church grew. And uh, from between AD 70 and AD 135, when Jerusalem was completely beaten by Hadrian, and he changed Jerusalem to Aeo Capitalina, and he changed the name of Israel to, to Palestine, that the church headquarter moved from Jerusalem to Rome, and it has kept on moving and moving. And uh, those who were church fathers, they disagreed a lot with the, the Jewish believers at that time. And slowly by slowly, the church was able to eject completely the messianic leaders from the church. So that in later years, when there were other church councils, like 325, the Council of the Nicaea, they deliberately changed the the, the, 
the Passover and they put very strict measures. They began to refuse intermarriage between the Christians and the Jewish people. The church began to prohibit the Christians to celebrate the feasts of the Lord or anything, the Sabbath or anything else. And the Christians would be killed even because of marrying Jewish people or associating with them. They refused the people to go to their Passover and everything else. And finally, all the Jewish life that they had really, uh, they were, we were grafted into them, but they were completely cut off from the church. And we know that the church has been prosecuting, persecuting the Jewish people for a very long time. Even the crusaders, as they were going to evict the Muslims from Jerusalem on the way, they said that they will start by killing the Jewish people. And they went on the spree of killing them. That today, uh, the, the Jewish brothers don't like the word crusade because it reminds them of what happened to them. And so this has been so, and there has been a time like there has been no Jewish people in the body, but God has always had his own remnant. In 1995, um, before, uh, since 1948, a few more Jewish people began to know the Lord. And since 1967, when Jerusalem was retaken, more Jewish people have come to know Yeshua. Yeshua began to reveal himself to his own brothers. And one of the things is that uh, most believers in Jewish believers then, they were into Catholic church, they were into Anglican, they were into Presbyterian, or they were in, um, in the Baptist or other churches. But the Lord Jesus began to talk to them and tell them that they can be believers in him and they can continue to keep their Jewishness. And there was a movement that was born that is called the Jewish movement. And it has done quite a lot of good work. And the Jewish believers began to come together in that forum. And one of them, Rabbi Mate Widam from Dallas, Texas, uh, and he is the founder of Baruch Hashem Synagogue. He was going to speak to this Jewish movement. And as he prepared, the Lord spoke to him. And he told him that he want the church and the Messianic to be reconciled because he doesn't have two churches, he has one. And to prepare for his second coming, since this uh, bridge in the church was the first one between the Jewish and the Gentile, he wanted to be dealt with and uh, that there should be repentance and reconciliation. And the TJC2 was formed that in days to come, there will be another council in Jerusalem, the second one. The first one was to unify the, the Gentiles, but the second council would be to the Gentiles now to unify the Messianic into the body of Messiah. And th this was not a simple thing. It has been going on from then. But uh, through prayers, intercession, repentance, uh, this movement has moved. And now there is movement in South America. There is one in America, US. There is one that has begun in Canada. There are a few more in Europe scattered all over and they have gone to Asia also. A few years, there was a meeting in, uh, in Singapore and there has been a meeting in China. 
And uh, I have been representing Africa as an intercessor since uh, 2000, let me see, and five, and going as an intercessor. But this time, they have honored us, Africa, that uh, this movement is going to come officially in Africa in Nairobi from the 25th of October to 28th of the same. And uh, we seek to bring repentance to our messianic brothers. We have had our share of, um, of mistreating the Jewish people in many ways in Africa. We remember that uh, we were the first people to colonize them during the times of Pharaoh. The people who were in Egypt today are not the one who were there. And uh, we were part of that. And we do know that uh, the, the, the waters of, of um, Nile comes from, especially this, our region. I remember a long time ago during the times of Amini, I had brothers praying in, from Uganda and they were telling Jesus to remember them because he drank the water from, from Uganda. And uh, we have brought repentance, but it has not been enough. We have never had a big, uh, a big presence of messianic brothers. And I remember one time when we began praying here in Kenya, we visited the ambassador of Israel and we are trying to bring repentance, but, but because he is of the other side, he, he would not really understand what we were saying, although it was good for us. And this time we are going to have about 12 uh, messianic believers from Israel who will come to Nairobi uh, for this reconciliation. And although this meeting was for Kenya, as we prayed here, we felt that this should be a good time to represent our continent. Many prophecies have gone before and Africa has been, I mean, has been uh, told that many of our nations are a sheep nation. And if we are sheep nation, we need to reconcile with the, the Jewish people. I think since 90s, I have had people pray for, for the end time revival. And the end time revival that is being referred to, it is actually in connection with Israel. Two things or three. One is about the, the coming uh, is, is the revival when the Israelites or the Jewish people will be able to go back to their land in Alea. And I know many people are praying about that. The second thing is about the salvation of all Jewish people. Paul tells us in Romans 11 that all Jewish people will be saved. The third thing would be about the land. You cannot uh, separate Israel from the land of Israel. Neither can you separate them from also Jerusalem as the city of the great king where Jesus is going to come back and reign from. And we cannot separate the messianic from the church. Since we are one and the same, we believe Yeshua, Jesus, the same way they do and they are our brothers. Today, many of them are still sidelined because the government is in line with the, the rabbinical Judaism and the rabbinical Judaism does not uh, like the messianic. Even in the area, it has been very hard for those who believe in Jesus to be accepted to come back to Israel as quickly as the others. And so they are our brothers, they need us, we need them. And no matter how much we pray, if Israel or if the Jewish people are not aligned in Jerusalem in the right way, as Jesus said in, I think, Luke 
that uh, they will not be able to say he will not come back until there were enough Jewish people believers who will be able to say, Baruch Ata Hashem Adonai, or blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, that he is not going to come. So we want to support them. We want to be one with them. We want this reconciliation so that we can be able to be a part of the coming of the Lord as we prepare for his second coming. And so I speak to you and I want to invite you to this meeting. It is international. And as I said, people are coming from all over. People will come from South America. They will come from the East, from Europe and from Africa. And it is our prayer that many people will be able to come. It's a good connection. And, uh, and I, I thank God for it. Um, I just see how the Lord is going to open us and, and to help us. And uh, for, for those in Africa who will come, because this is the first kind of this meeting in Africa, we will be able to discuss on how each African nation or other nations of the world who have not had this chance, how they can have the chance of having this reconciliation in their own, in their own uh, nations and so that we can be able to come together and also how we can continue to pray together for this uh, great work and the privilege that the Lord is giving us at the, this time of end time as he opens our eyes and our ears and show us the great purpose that he has for all of us. And so today I think I will say that. Again, I say thank you. I have sent uh, uh, Edward, brother Edward, uh, an invitation letter and also a registration form. And I am praying that he will share that with everyone. Who can, who would like to come? And also, if you want to talk to me, I know that uh, also Edward will give you my contact and you can talk to me. You can ask me any question that you may want to ask. And thank you very much for listening. May the Lord bless us all. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, uh, Reverend Elizabeth. If you can make me a, a host, uh, my network had gotten an interruption. Heavenly Father, Lord Almighty God, we here we are together, gathered, Lord, to hear your hearts. We thank you, Lord, for the servant that you have sent, Reverend. And Lord Almighty, we, we acknowledge that your heart is to have one new man. We acknowledge, O oh Lord, and recognize and accept that Israel is an integral part of the one new man. And Father mm -hmm. God Almighty, we lift up the nation of Israel. And we pray in the name of Jesus, that Lord Almighty God, that you open their eyes, their ears, and their hearts to receive you. And Father, Lord Almighty, that they begin to feel, oh God, your presence in their midst. Thank you, Father, for the work that you've already done and showed us that you are at work in Israel by, by restoring the nation, making Jerusalem as one city, and continually defending that nation, Lord, against the onslaught of anti-Semitism, against the onslaught of COVID, and many things, Lord, some which we do not see, but we know. We know that, Lord, you are watching over Israel. Thank you, Lord, that you have awakened the church. We're praying in the name of Jesus, that you continue to awaken even the leaders of our nations, Lord. Everyone in the church, oh Lord, even out of the church, oh Lord God Almighty, and turn our hearts toward Israel, towards, towards your, turn our hearts, oh Lord, towards becoming one 
And Lord, I'm praying in the name of Jesus that we shall not give up as watchmen. And strengthen our inner man, O oh Lord, and we could, as we continue, Lord, to stand at the gate, stand on the wall, and press forward. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Miriam. I will now receive uh, responses before we have a time of prayer. Uh, Reverend Elizabeth has shared with us as well four prayer points to pray into not only this movement the towards Jerusalem so too, but also the event that she has mentioned in, in October in Kenya. I've also posted in the chat a website where you can learn more about the movement towards Jerusalem Council 2, tjc2.org. Yes. Okay, those are posted the prayer points, but let's hear from Hillary, uh, whose hand is already up. Over to you, Hillary. You can unmute your mic. Thank you. Hello. Can you can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we hear you. Praise the Lord. I, I'm feeling very um, I don't know how to say it. By the grace of God, I have Jewish heritage. And I've been called to pray in Jerusalem many, many years at the All Nations Convocation. And in I think it was 2006, I met Pastor Esther Kerry from Nairobi. I don't know whether you knew her. She was such a precious lady, and she was praying into all of this issue about anti-Semitism and replacement theology. She said, Sister Hillary, come to Kenya. So by the grace of God, we, I think, did a bread and fish job. <laughs> you know, the loaves and the fishes. And we prayed through Kenya up to Ethiopia and through many uh, Uganda, other nations and cried out to God that this shift would come. And my heart is just overwhelmed with joy. And I just want to bless this gathering. And I want to say thank you, Heavenly Father, that this is so much your heart, that all the African brethren would come to this revelation, the richness of it, of what it is where we're all grafted back into you, Yeshua the true olive tree, as in Romans 9, 11. And Lord, I just praise and thank you that, uh, Lord Jesus, when you came to the disciples, you said the first commission after you breathed the Holy Spirit upon them in your peace was to go and forgive. And I just want to speak forgiveness. I want to speak the blessing of forgiveness from a messianic, Jewish leader, I run the Canberra House of Prayer, and I just want to say thank you, Jesus, because a lady phoned me here in Australia, and our Pentecost has been about this very thing. She said, we have to repent, Hillary, the Gentiles, about mm -hmm. replacement theology. We yes. have to repent yes. about anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. So this is so much God's time right now. And I just thank you, Father, for such an explosion of revival to come into Africa mm. as they get released from any of these curses. Mm -hmm. And, Father, your blessings would pour in without measure mm. and that this gathering would have no weapon forged against it. Mm. That, Father, you would prevail and do something so glorious to set free anyone who's still in an orphan spirit to come into fullness of sonship. And to know you are our true father for all the nations of the earth through Abraham. And this is the blessing. You say if we curse Abraham, it's mm -hmm. a, a, um, the meaning is a, just a small indifference. Mm -hmm. And the consequence of that is a huge outblown curse. Mm -hmm. But if we bless, there are mighty blessings that are without measure. And I speak that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Hilary. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Yes, thank you. Yes, Utah's hand is also up. I have, Father, I want to thank you that you My reconcile goodness. everything unto yourself, Father. You call us, you call your bride, you call, you call Israel all, all as one together. And I thank you, Father, that um, we feel that in all the nations, and you already started, like in Africa, to um to call us the ones that are really seeking you, Father. You 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 yourself you draw us back to the root, Lord, to to home. You reconcile the older and the younger brother together. You bring us home together. Thank you for so using Africa as a forerunner and already years, years, years ago, supporting this call, calling out, calling forth, and this prayer warriors in Africa and standing and praying and praying, Father, also that we all hear this call, Father, it's your call, come back, come back, turn to me, and, and Lord, thank you that you bring us back to the Father, you bring us back to the root. I thank you for, for Israel, for, for uh, preparing you people in Israel and preparing us Gentiles um, to, to come together to, to like a marriage, Lord, in you, Father, that we all, we need each other, Lord, and that, the, that um, this coming together is reconciliation, that we lay down our crowns, we lay down everything, for you to become all, oh Lord Jesus, in our midst, the lamp of God that died for us, that mercy is what we have. Father, that you, a new and a fresh, can give us your son. A child is born, a son is given, and the government um, is on your shoulders, Lord. May we receive it with empty hands, receiving you everything, laying down our lives one before in front of the other and receiving you as one in you christ thank you father thank you jesus thank you holy spirit that you are the one performing this great work in the earth and using uh and, and with all of us lord in jesus name i pray amen amen amen, amen. Amen. Okay, Let, yes, let's also have Delane and after Delane, Phoebe. And then after Phoebe, Jennifer. Yes, Delane. I just want to thank you, Lord, for this conference, Lord, and what you're doing in, with Africa and Israel. There's a special relationship there. I don't know, I both am drawn to Israel and Africa tremendously and i feel it very strongly that the, the refuge that africa will be for israel i feel the, the the support and the worship and the spirit and truth that africa will be for israel and i want to bless africa and africa's identity um as as that as one with this with israel and in this conference lord and and uh the strength that Africa will be for Israel, Lord. I, I just see that, and I'm so thankful for that, Lord God. And, and I just, I thank you for this conference, and I pray blessings on all, um, on Israel and, and understanding what you're doing, Lord. Um, it's so beautiful bringing Africa and Israel together as one in the olive tree, yet different, like Ruth. Um, mm -hmm that your people be my people, your God, my people don't ever urge me to leave. I already feel the strength in, in the African um, love for Israel. It's tremendous. And I thank you for that, Lord, in Yeshua's name. Amen. Um, what came to my mind uh, is Africa trip. Paint of the blood of the Jews, which was shed on the continent of Africa, that violence, that hatred, it was on the Jews, and it led a negative feeling in the hearts of 
the Jews towards Africa. I'm particularly reminded of uh, uh, in Tebe raid that Lady Dora Block, Bloch, the blood which was shed. Uh, uh, we've lost Aunt Phoebe of the network, but as she prepares to reconnect, maybe uh, Jennifer could, could share as Aunt Phoebe reconnects. Over to you, Jennifer. Abba Father, we thank you for oh. Shavuot. Abba Father, we thank you for Shavuot, which is about unity of your people, the oneness of your body, which Yeshua, you prayed for before you went to the cross. And truly, you made it possible because at the cross, you broke the divisions between us and you made us one. And Abba Father, we just thank you and declare it again over, over your um, Gentile believers, especially in Africa. Abba Father, the oneness that Yeshua, that you prayed for, and the oneness that was experienced in, in Acts that brought about such a signs and wonders and, and um, multitudes came to know Yeshua. And Abba Father, we ask for the rain of your wind, wind and fire and rain of your Holy Spirit to continue to pour during, even during this Pentecost, it's still Pentecost, during this Pentecost period, continue to pour upon the ecclesia in Africa, the oneness the, the, that they will be truly, they will experience that oneness supernaturally brought by the power of your spirit because they are one in your spirit, God. And even as, that, as they are one, Abba Father, that they will be one with your people in Israel that it will truly be one new man. Above Father, this is um, my prayer and our prayer. Truly, it will be one new man in Yeshua's mighty name, amen. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. Thank amen. you, uh, Jennifer. Uh, before Margaret speaks, if Aunt Phoebe can uh, continue, we had lost her, Aunt Phoebe. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Thank you for this opportunity you are giving us to address issues which are in our foundations, especially as far as Israel and the Jews are concerned. We ask you to forgive us for the blood which was violently shed on the continent of Africa. Forgive us for the hatred, the anger, the revenge, which was the mistreatment, which Africa has done to the Jews. We ask you to forgive us for the blood which was shed in Egypt as they were building the... Uh, Amen. Yes, yes, Lord, we, we continue to pray in agreement with our sister and Phoebe. Lord, our God, we ask you to forgive us, even the blood which was shed in Mombasa. Today, Lord, our God, we ask that the precious blood of Jesus will cleanse us from all this unrighteousness as the continent of God. We ask the Jews to forgive us for that uh, blood which was shed. Thank you, Abba Father, that you have heard our prayers. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Aunt Phoebe. Uh, over to you, Ma. Yes, um, yesterday when I was in my quiet time, the Lord gave me Isaiah 52 from verses 7 to 9. It actually goes to 10. And um, now I know why. 
How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who proclaims peace, who brings glad tidings of good things, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Your watchmen shall lift up their voices. With their voices they shall sing together, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord brings back Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together, you waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. And I'm going to open 10. The Lord has made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Father God, we thank you for Africa, Lord God. We thank you for this, uh, um, what is it called now? Um, Towards Jerusalem Council too. Father, thank you that uh, this is, uh, is going to be happening in October. Thank you that uh, Kenya was a forerunner, as um, Utah has well said. Father, we want to bless Africa, Lord God, that they will get the blessing as Genesis 15 says, uh, sorry, Genesis 12, 3 says, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So, Father, yes, we release a blessing, because you release a blessing over Africa in doing all this. So, Father, we proclaim your peace. And we also say, you, Lord, your, our God reigns in Zion, Lord God, and all the nations of the earth. Father, we pray that each and every nation that are um, represented in this call, Father, and even more, Father, in Global Watch, Lord God, will really pray into this uh, Jerusalem Council too, Father. We pray that there will be a breakthrough in every nation. I want to pray for a breakthrough in our nation of Malta and Gozo. Father, we pray that there will be a reconciliation, that there will be repentance, and they will see the goodness of the Lord when you truly align yourself with Jerusalem and with Israel. Father, we pray that contrary to what people are saying in the book of Galatians, that the old has passed, they use scripture, Lord God, to justify their, their means. Father, we pray that you will break through the heart, to bring the truth. As our sister was said, Elizabeth, in uh, Romans 11, Lord God, that we are, have been grafted in, and, and Israel is your, your nation, the apple of your eye, and all Israel will be saved. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. Yes, Father, we thank you for this movement of reconciliation. We thank you for what you began around the whole earth. But Father, we ask you for righteous fruits of repentance. Father, bring your body back to the Ten Commandments as they are written in the Bible, not as the churches are teaching them. Mm. Bring your body back to your appointed times you gave to Israel as times when you will meet them, when you will have an encounter with them and also with us. Father, we ask you for real steps going back towards your messianic body in Israel. Father, we ask you for bold leaders in, the, in your Gentile body to do these steps, to go back to your appointed times, that the world can see righteous fruits of repentance. Amen. 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 Thank you, Frederick. Lord, I'd just Lord, like to, as the as an only representative from South Africa, Lord, I would just like to um, really repent on the part of our government for the stand that they were taking to 
to try and uh, stop Israel being an observer for the African Union. Uh, I know that it, it was uh, d that was didn't happen, which is praise the Lord for the, all the Christians who are praying very much against it, uh, against the um, the stand that South Africa has taken of being on the side more of the Palestinians than the the Jewish people. So, Lord, I just pray that that Lord there will be a change that there will be a, a realization that when we come against Israel, we come, we, we bring destruction to our own nation. And Lord, we, I, I just pray the Lord for the repentance from South Africa, that we will love Israel, that we will love the Jewish people, that, that there will be such a union between Christians and Jews. And Lord, I just pray that, that there will be more and more messianic congregations even within South Africa who can lead people to understand the, the role that, that we play as one new man uh, all together, that, that Lord, you are looking for the unity uh, that there must come between Christian and Jewish people. And, and Lord, I just uh, just lift up this continent of Africa, Lord. I just thank you for the stand that they made uh, for the um, the president of the African Union, who wrote such an amazing letter, um, showing the um, the way in which there was such uh, oh, what in the word. Uh, <laughs> such uh, hypocrisy uh, from the countries who were trying to ban Israel. And Lord, I just pray that it will never be raised again, Lord, that uh, Israel will stay as having um, an observer status in the African Union. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yes, Father. Father, would you like to, to bless this event in October, Father? Father, we pray open heavens, Father, in Yeshua's name. Father, we pray that uh, you guide every step. You help them with all the logistics. You bring all the people uh, in uh, safety to there. Father, we do pray open heavens. And uh, Father, we thank you that when we repent, you are faithful and, 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 and fiel is used and just to, to cleanse us, Father, and forgive us, Father. So we, we bless this event, Father. We pray, we pray that it will be a turning point, Father, in, in the life of many people, Father. In Yeshua's name, Father, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Roberta. Um, Father, we have seen how Af we have used Africa uh, as a leader especially in recently in the in the international scene and, re, and recently um, in the on the issue of um, the the World Health Organization trying to dominate the governments and we've seen how you have um, Africa has led the world the nations to counter this and our father we thank you that for the prophecies that have been spoken over Africa that that they will help, they will be the ones that you will use to ignite the world revival. And Abba Father, we just ask at this time of Shavuot, Abba Father, that for your angels, for your angels that you release during this season, for your angels to help the Ecclesia, to push, to scatter the foe, to push the evil, the forces of darkness, who are trying to um, disturb them and prevent them from fulfilling your calling. Abba Father, we thank you that you fulfill your call. You fulfill your purposes and your plans for Africa and no, the, the nations. You thwart the plans of the nations. You thwart the plans of the forces of evil. But you accomplish every word and every every word and every purpose which you have spoken over Africa. And we just thank you that you're lifting, lifting up Africa to show your power in this nation, a, a, a nation that will, that will show your light, the light of Yeshua, the light 
of your truth in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Abba. Thank you, Lord. Abba, uh, Abba, Abba, I just want to, to bless Africa from here, from Israel as a sister, as an Asianic sister, and thank you for breaking the petition rules and make us one in you. Thank you, Lord. And I just Thank you, Abba, that with you is the fountain of life, and in your light, we'll see light. So, Lord God, I just pray the light of your, um, the understanding of the purpose of Israel to come upon all Africa and to break the, the spirit of uh, division and hatred towards Israel and just Bless our brothers and sisters there. And let this conference be to your glory. Amen. 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 Father, Thanks. and speaking as a voice here from Germany, Father, it's absolutely reversal, Father, there we where we have treaded down Africa, Father. I repent once more again, Father. And this time I say, as in our calling as a father nation. That, that lifts up other nations we lift up africa and we say we need you we need you you are the children of god really close to to the heart of the father and listening in his voice you're these eagles we need you to fly we need you to go ahead to hear the signs and the seasons the times and the seasons that the father sets in place thank you lord that we as germans we lift up our African brothers and sisters, and we say, go for it, go for it, in Jesus' name. I ask your Holy Spirit to preach, to bring them out of what, what the enemy has stolen, to reward them, to reward them double fold, in Jesus' mighty name, to lift, bring these winds blowing on them, lifting them up to your voice, Father, in, into your authority that you have given them as your sons and daughters, Go for it, Africa, I speak in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Thank you, Utah. We also speak a blessing and release of Germany and uh, all any other country and nation that could have, we could have suffered from. Lord, we speak reconciliation and release and blessing to the nations which are your nations. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Our time is first spent. I'm going to invite uh, Pastor Femi in the closing prayer. But I so Hilary, if you could use a minute and it's it's just very very short thank you when uh, my sister was praying i just saw the lord um giving the his african sons and daughters the heart of ruth they would say your god is my god your people are my people and they would walk together truly and enter into all the blessings of the covenant that Ruth recognized. Father, would you do, oh, I've got such a, a manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Would you do such a deep work in the hearts and the minds and the identity of my African brethren? Father, do this across the nations that we could come into the revelation of the fullness of what it means to be your sons and daughters in your covenant blessing. I speak this over the African nations and this conference, it would have the heart of Ruth in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Hilary. We thank God for that um, revelation and blessing. Amen. Pastor Femi. All right, thank you so much everyone for praying for Africa and thank you for spending this time with us. I would just like to say our prayer in closing and to pray God's blessing from Africa upon all the continents that are represented here. It's so sure that God had great plans for Africa and God had began a walk 
through intercessors to realign Africa so Africa can come into a full uh, redemptive purposes. And I'm so glad to be part of this. Let's pray together. Holy Father, we thank you for all that you have begun to do in our lives as Africa, as a continent. Thank you for raising intercessors to plead with you for Africa. Africa is a continent that is in their need of rest. It's been plunged to generations of restlessness, but Lord, just as a root, I've been through so much troubled beginning, and yet you want to align her so she can be comforted in Boaz and receive a Hobbit. Thank you because Hobbit is a tone of consolation for Ruth. And you, oh God, you are nearest king's maker. Lord, we king's men, we acknowledge your loving kindness. And Lord, this Ruth, this Africa from our root is realigned according to the prophecy, oh God, of your watchmen. And we align, oh God, together today, oh God, to seek your face, to say, Lord, that you will usher Africa into our true rest, into the reality of our true rest. Now, my said unto Ruth in Ruth chapter 3, verse when he said, my daughter-in-law, shall I know secrets for you that it might be well with you, Lord? I seek your face, O God, that Africa will be ushered into a season of rest, that you will bring Africa into a season of rest. That, Lord, among the committee of nations, you will bring us into this season of rest. O God, we seek your face, that the Messiah covenant will begin to find the establishment across African continent, that again, you will cause, Lord, the blessing lesson of Abraham to attain to Africa. We pray in the name of Yeshua al-Mashiach that by the grace and by the power that is at work, even under redemption consideration, that the nations of Africa would find rest from communal conflict, from terrorism, from and the tree from poverty that the rest oh god that you have promised that is obtainable in our relationship and alignment with israel we begin to attain unto african nations and cities in the name of yeshua we seek your face oh god that your blessing be pure upon all the nations that have travailed even for the bad of your purposes even in our continent lord we pray as you be mercy upon these nations as they have recognized Inside, oh God, and say, seek your face, Lord, in repentance, Lord. Let your mercy, oh God, let your blessing, oh God, let your goodness, oh God, let it surely and in certainty attend unto this nation. We also from Africa, oh Lord, forgive, oh God, who have do those who have despised for abused us, those who have spoken against us, those who have uh, who have robbed us, defrauded us. But Lord, indeed, we ask that Lord, you have mercy on us and you have mercy on these nations. We seek, oh God that your blessing will be your call upon these nations. And for those who are represented on this call, Lord, we pray your blessing on them, O oh God. And we pray, O oh God, because of what Yeshua and Mashiach done, O oh God, that you bring all of us into the fullness of your counsel and your purposes in the name of Jesus. We pray your blessing, O oh God, upon all this continent. And we say, Lord, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you. May the Lord be gracious upon you. And may the Lord be gracious unto you, and the Lord be merciful unto you, may the Lord be gloriously manifest in all that pertains unto you and bless you with great peace. Father, we thank you because this you've done already. Lord, we give you all the glory. And we say, Lord, just as roots eventually receive our consolation, cause your consolation to attend unto all these who have spent their time on this altar of intercession. Lord, let them be comforted, let them be consoled, and let them be blessed. In blessing, bless them. In multiplying, multiply them. Let them be abundant blessed because Yeshua is our blessing. We receive this in Yeshua and Mashiach's name. Amen. And God's people will say amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Femi, and thank you all for joining this call. We can enable our cameras just to say God bless you and uh, shalom, everyone. Shalom, shalom. Shalom,
Amen. Yom Tov. Yeah. I speak to you.